Seagard and welcome to my kitchen. I love this space. It's definitely something that's been slash home office. I've had my desk here and uh, my vision boards, my astrology boards, an ironing board if I ever need it. This is one of the perks of living in an apartment built in the 50s is built-in ironing boards because that was very important to them back then. So um, it's super cute. I really love it as my home office. This is a space I'm a little burnt out on mostly because I'm bored of the color. It's been this really bright cheerful color for the last four years and when I go on Pinterest and design blogs my eye is always drawn to the bright, white, clean, modern aesthetic. So although I love the way that this space feels, I've been craving to switch it up and do something different. I want to make sure that it still has a really home, cheerful vibe to it, but at the same point it's a little bit more clean and modernized, but also a little less cluttered with my personal stuff everywhere. I have ticket stubs, bills, coupons, receipts, um, all my personal cookbooks. I'm really excited about finding a way to make it feel personal and like it has a lot of me in it but at the same time it's more of a studio space. So let's get to it and start painting. Okay, that's the last of it on the walls, and I feel as if it already looks so much bigger and brighter without everything on the walls. It just feels more spacious, and I think when I switch out the yellow color that it's going to make it feel even larger, so I'm pretty excited. I chose Ultra Pure White by Bayer, and the guy at Home Depot said it was going to look like a hospital room, which did not sound cute at all. But uh, I told him I wanted it really modern and bright and white, and he said if that's the way that you're going, this is the color to choose. And he suggested I get a sample first to test it out and make sure that I liked it, and I said no thank you. Um, if I'm going to get into this and get it all prepared, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so so far I'm liking it. It looks super clean and fresh and good, and I'm already loving it. and you want to do it yourself, I am here to tell you it's super easy. You don't need to hire anybody or even ask your landlord to do it for you. This was so much fun. That is such a lie. I got paint in my hair, paint all over the floor. You don't even want to see my floor. Okay, so I was going for all white. I wanted splashes of black and white and silver, and then I wanted some greenery to come in, which is why I have my succulents and my little cactus trees because I'm all about that right now. But I went ahead and just put all my cookbooks in one place and it doesn't look as cluttered because it's offset by the balance of the all white, the black, and silver coordinates. The one thing I would not advise doing is painting handles on your um, appliances. If you have an all white fridge with a stupid black handle, don't paint it white. It looks bad. Oh, and P.S., if you live in a place for a year or more, you will be disgusted at how dirty your seemingly white cabinets get. It wasn't until I did a stroke nearby that I saw just how dirty they look. Check out this picture where you can see my cabinet color before and then the after. If you live in a space and you've been there for more than one year, just go ahead and buy a can of paint and keep it around for upkeep whenever you get tarnishes or scratches. It's totally worth it. It's going to make your space look that much better. Overall, I was super obsessed with all of those floating shelves that they had in the design blogs where you display everything that you have in your kitchen. I think it looks really sleek and modern and I loved how it turned out. And it was really fun to go through and see if I wanted to do wood or something that was a pop of color. But ultimately, I went with the white because I thought that it really blended in well with the wall itself so that everything on the shelf really was the centerpiece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my kitchen before and after and I'm really excited to start using this space to shoot more YouTube videos. Please hit thumbs up if you love this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone! Also, Lovisa to my old yellow kitchen. You will be missed. May you rest in peace.